and welcome to the National League Rugby Review Show, the place to watch the best tries and biggest moments from the third and fourth tier of English rugby. I'm presenting from my local club, Bournemouth Rugby Club, and I'm delighted to present six fantastic games for you. And we start off in Taunton. The Titans have had a mixed bag to their first season in the third tier, with three wins and four losses. But their biggest challenge may just be Birmingham Mosley, who are no strangers to last-minute drama. For these two, it's been a case of it's not how you start, but how you finish this season. But the hosts only needed six minutes to score. Charlie Williams finishing off a series of driving phases. The backs showed their skills five minutes later with Sam Baker's try before Titans legend Gary Kingdom kicked for a 15-0 half-time lead. Adam Balding has been used to this scenario, going behind seven times in nine games at the break. Mosley have also produced excellent tries this season and Mason Tonks finished this stunning move for another in the tally. The visitors were all the way back on the hour after Sam McNaughty's drive, but Titans' Joe Ellsworthy made sure the lead was regained as Mosley conceded eight penalties to concede the game. Two from three home games for Taunton continues their strong start while Mosley are starting to slip. Our other than that one game takes us to Yorkshire. Leeds Sykes, formerly Yorkshire Carnegie and of the Championship, are bottom of the third tier. It's also grim reading for Blackheath, one of the oldest clubs in English rugby history. Pretty interesting game, blustery conditions, really windy and you know, generally both sides I thought played some good rugby in the conditions and also managed the conditions as well uh, and also there were lots of opportunities you know Blackheath had their opportunities and took them and, and we uh, as Leeds Tykes uh, had opportunities and took ours as well uh, particularly the last you know minute of the game two minutes of the game I was delighted with the spirit and the determination of the players to get to get over the line and get a result for us which we desperately needed. Very good five point home win for the Tykes um, after they've been on the, on the road for so long the boys are very happy with the game, um, and they're ecstatic that they got the win because uh, there's been a tremendous, tremendous amount of effort going over the last few weeks. So um, to get the rewards is, is, is very sweet. What this means for the table is Taunton Titans are back into the top eight, joining Birmingham Mosley. Blackheath stay where they are, but Leeds Tykes are off the bottom for the first time in three weeks. Catch the next twist in National One by subscribing to the show. Let's head to National 2 North next, which makes up one half of the fourth tier of English rugby and plenty of running rugby between Loughborough students and Stanbridge. Here's what happened at the Crumb. While success has come in bucks, the students have lacked the same in the fourth tier. And Stourbridge, one of the highest scoring teams in the league, only took 20 minutes for George Morgan and James Rodley to open the scoring. The bonus came 12 minutes later for Neil Mitchell's side, including a special moment for Worcester Warriors Academy star Seb Atkinson, while Afi Afi Heisili struck the fourth with pace before half-time. Loughborough's half-time talk worked, utilising their pack power to drive Jack Shine over. Alex Wainwright made it three tries in two games before Stourbridge top scorer Jack Lee grabbed his eighth of the season. As Morgan secured a brace on the break, and Daniel James finished a consolation, the inevitable was confirmed. Stourbridge remain unbeaten in eight, while the students have a lot to learn. Deep in Herefordshire, Lactonians have had a tough start to their season with just one win from seven. It's a different story for Chester though, with three wins from their last four. Mortimer Park is yet to enjoy a win. Lactonians have been played to and lost to at home. Looks set to go that way again, after just eight minutes as Liam Reeve took points from the boot. Chester have dominated first halves to win four out of their last five. That pressure has come at the set piece, leads into a second penalty for Reeve, the only points of the first half. And it was the visitors who gained momentum, using the Carl Joseph's bundling score on 55 minutes. Despite half an hour of pressure, Lactonians could only take a try through Aidan Cheshire for their efforts. As the winds blew around Mortimer Park, they are favourable for Chester. And before we head south, it's time to head to the northeast with a meeting of two informed sides. Tynesdale have only played twice in the last four weeks, but have won both of those games, while Sheffield Tigers are on a run of three without defeat. You couldn't find two more informed sides in National League rugby right now, but the Tigers pounced first. Captain and head coach Jamie Broadley asserting himself after six minutes. Tyndale have their own talisman in Guy Pike. 
who put the host within two points minutes later. Mark Ireland was the hero against Loughborough for the visitors last week and edged his side ahead from the boots before Seamus Hutton took the game to a one point gate at the break. After an edgy restart, Tigers thought it would be four from four when Rob Davidson burst down the wing here. But Tyndale were just getting warmed up. Ralph Johnson bundled over the whitewash for two tries in two games and made it three from two for the winner six minutes from time. Put simply, Timedale tamed the Tigers in a tight, tight clash. The weekend has seen some big changes to the table with Stourbridge flying to second and Chester breaking into the top half. Timedale climb up another place in the only change at the bottom. We're off for a battle of top two next week in Stourbridge versus Sedgley Park. Subscribe to find out what happens. Our last game takes us to National 2 South, where Henley have been flying high with five wins from their last six. While Hinkley have only won one of their eight games, they know a thing or two about tight clashes. It seems that role reversal was the key word at Dry Lees. Joe Wilson score after four minutes, plus this sublime team move finished by the fullback put Hinkley in control after half an hour. Hinkley had only been ahead at the break twice in eight games this season. Adam Johnson made certain they were before Ewan Kelly grabbed the bonus. Henley started to wake up on 53 minutes, Samson Edajimi muscling over. But the visitors responded immediately with Josh Miss break. While the Hawks had a penalty try and Alex Bradley scored to cheer, they were beaten like a cape by Hinkley. With Wilson's drop kick, the cherry on top. National 2 South has a very close battle going on at the top, unaffected by the game at Dry Leeds. That change came at the bottom, where Hinkley are out of the bottom three. Thank you for watching this free demo of the National League Rugby Review Show. We hope you enjoyed it and that we'll see you later in the season.